Guys, I bring you greetings from Kenya, the land of the greatest marathoners from the youngest continent in the globe. It is wonderful to see you, so many people from around the world, in one of the most historic cities under the magnificent Eiffel Tower. The joy and happiness exuded by all of us here, I wish it could be shared around the world. The people of Kenya, Africa, and many parts of the world live in the reality of the new normal. The climate crisis is getting worse every year, with millions losing their lives and livelihoods to drought, flash floods, heat waves, cyclones, and wildfires. Luckily, the solutions to make a difference are in our hands. And when I see you, I see the future, and I see the solution to the challenges that exist in our globe. We have the necessary technology. We have the necessary finances today. And it is possible for all of us to act together to course correct. What has gone wrong, we have it in our power to get it right. It requires solidarity. It requires fairness. It requires equity. And when I see you, I see that great future of immense possibilities. Africa has the greatest potential for renewable energy from solar, from wind, from hydro, from geothermal. Kenya is already leading the way with 92% of our grid being green. <clears throat> At this global citizen event, we call for a global financial system that is fit for purpose. One that does not pit the West against the East, or the North against the South, or emitters against those who don't emit, or the developing against the, uh, the developed. We want one that is fair, a financial system that is fair, that is transparent, and it is not too much to ask for a fair system. A financial system that does not advantage emitters and disadvantage low-income countries, a financial system that supports a climate-positive growth and a green industrial growth powered by renewable resources to help us all decarbonize. It should also provide Africa and the Global South with affordable finance that can help us all attain a goal of low carbon and resilient world and attain the Paris Agreement of net zero by 2050. This is ultimately about our people, about us all, and our health is the human face of climate change. Our next frontier is building climate and pandemic resilient health systems, resilient economic development. Together, we can build a better future for people and planet. I love you guys. Thank you very much. See you in Nairobi in September. We will expect you in Nairobi on the 4th and 6th in September for the Africa Climate Summit, where finally we will have the final discourse on a new financial system and on a green, resilient growth. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana. God bless you.